What's up, YouTube? Here we go. It's the moment of truth. This is Long Care 101. I'm Clint, the neighbor nominator. We got this thing decently leveled. There's still some bumps going on, but I have no time. I am moving and doing this at the same time. As you can see, it's trashed in there. But we are at the point now of putting down seed. So what I'm going to be using here is... I bought two different types of peat moss. I've been wanting to try this one out. I don't know, it was a little more expensive, but Simple Lawn Solutions sent me this growth enhancing booster. It is, uh, <coughs> excuse me, let me just double check here. It's a 619 zero uh, for, it's, it's like a starter fertilizer. And then now we have, we're gonna mix in the tank with it, Tenacity. And this is my battery powered sprayer. And then we also have our new spreader here. If you saw my video before, put that thing together. My fiance jumped out of the box. We gotta weigh out our seed. And then obviously gloves. And then this, I've been waiting to open. We got the SS9000 Perennial Ryegrass Blend. Boom. There it is. And also, for when we're done, I got some uh, caution tape. So, uh, looking at this stuff here, it says here, we are going to be doing eight pounds per thousand and I have 1600 square feet. So probably just do 16 pounds, cause why not? I'm gonna be doing a little extra on the sides and over by the street anyways. So let's get to weigh in and let's get to spreading. Been waiting for this moment for a long time. All right, so I got 16 pounds in there. And man, these seeds are so much bigger than the blue bank that I got. All right, we're gonna get to spreading. And then after that, put down uh, our tenacity and do our chemicals to make it grow. Let's do this. So we went back and forth, back and forth, one way, up and down the other way. And then now I'm gonna use this old crappy rake so we get a good seed to soil contact. I'm gonna try and slightly rake this in. And then after that, I'm gonna spray it. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot to add, you know, this is, uh, I learned a lot of this from watching uh, Ryan Knorr do this uh, process here a little bit. And, you know, there's a couple other people too. I think Brandon Mitchell, Bush League Lawns, and then also, once again, with this 70-30 uh, mix here of sand and soil, uh, I was leery on it, but Matt Martin reassured me that this will work. So, Matt, I hope this works. But now, after I cut or rake the rows in there, got the contact. I emptied out this roller and now just to lightly go over it. Saw that with that Ryan, Ryan Orr character did that. So plus two, I rented that thing. It was like 20 bucks for, I get it for the whole day until tomorrow. So no need to buy one, just rent it. So, all right, here we go. All right, roll, raked, rolled, and now we spray. I got one and a half teaspoons of 
tenacity in there that should cover around 1500 square feet plus i got eight ounces of the uh, starter fertilizer from the simple lawn solutions that they hooked me up with so now it's time to spray and then get some peat moss on here So we got the dahlias over here now. This is the last piece of the puzzle here is this uh, seaweed humic and fulvic acid uh, You know this this fulvic acid is supposedly the uh, Big ingredient with uh, a project like this or just in the lawn in general. So I got it all mixed up in my tank and Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of water pressure here I have to get that fixed and I can't set up sprinklers on the like a, the DIY around the perimeter, I have to use this old uh, rickety sprinkler, and I bought this one. I bought a brand new one, this Orbit, thinking that it would be okay, and it sprays like 12 feet by 12 feet. It's pathetic. So this thing, I gotta step on the lawn and move it all around and stuff. But anyways, you guys don't need to see me spray this, but this is the last part. Uh, of the seeding project, but look at it. Looks pretty good. Let's take a look. Looks all right. So we're gonna spray that and then water it in. So I'll leave you guys with the uh, what it looks like. It's pretty pathetic, but uh, all right. I'll give you guys an update uh, in about a week or so, and let's see where we're at. So hit the subscribe button. Check me out on Instagram, The Neighbor Dominator, and thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see ya.